I would love to. We have been working on the heat shield for quite some time. It's gone through a lot of different iterations until we finally found what's working for Apex. So the heat shield, like you said, is is designed to sit sort of next to the mobile respawn beacon in terms of being a survival item. And I'll speak a little bit more about what that means later. But to get into how it actually works is when you loot the heat shield, you'll be able to throw it out. And if you throw it into the ring, it's actually going to create this protective dome that will keep you keep you safe in the ring. So you, you will avoid any ring tick damage while you're in there. And one of the really cool things about the heat shield is that it actually takes all of that energy that it's protecting you from and converts it into this like fast healing aura. So while you're in there, you're actually able to revive your teammates faster and use your healing consumables faster. And it's, it's really designed to be this sort of uh, comeback mechanic when you're down and out in the ring, or if you're in the ring fury mode to sort of combat some of that randomness. So it's a, it's a very exciting item. And I think it's going to I'm really excited to see what players do with it because there's a lot of expression, player expression that we're going to see out of this, a lot of creative things that they're going to do, a lot of cheeky plays that I can see coming out of this. And so to kind of get back into the survival item thing, one of the things that we're going to release with the heat shield is actually the survival slot. And how that works is in your inventory, we're actually making a new slot that's just for these survival items. So the mobile respawn beacon and the heat shield. So gone are the days of dropping heat shields for ammo or or health items. Now we really want players to have this opportunity to pick up the survival item, coordinate with their team. Oh, who's getting the MRB? Who's going to take some heat shields? How are we going to use our utility items to, to win the game? Um, so I'm really excited to see how all of this interplays and how people combat the ring furies. It's going to be a really, really exciting event. Yeah, in addition to the perks, it's got some some risks to it involved well, right? Because the dome itself takes has HP and is taking damage from the ring. So it it doesn't last forever, right? Like it's oh, going to wear out over time. Yeah, so it's, it's really designed to be this kind of like early to mid-game bounce back mechanic. We don't want people throwing down a bunch of heat shields in the final ring, staying out there and trying to outlast opponents. So you're right, it's got this HP. So in the earlier rounds, it's going to not take very much damage. It'll last a while. But as these rounds increase, as the damage of the ring increases, it will last less and less and less. And so you'll just have to play with it. I challenge you to see how far you can take it into the rings. It's, uh, we think we just, we think we balanced it pretty well but only only all of you are going to show us if we did a good job there